these demons want you to compromise yourself. That is the goal. That is the end game to get everyone to compromise themselves and make them weak. And how do you do that? You give the, what they do because, 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 because what, what, uh, Kwame and Faison are talking about is these parties, but it goes before that. Y'all, y'all check this out. This is what they do with black men. See, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm super metro. Like the way I dress, like all my jeans is tight. I like everything looking fresh, clean, neat. Like that's just me. I'm a fly dude. Like that's just how I feel like I want to present myself. See, they will take a nigga like me who dressed flamboyant, you know, my favorite color, pink. Y'all see me with a pink hat on. Like, this is my particular personality. This is who I am. They'll try to put a stylist on a nigga like me, right? See if they can get me to wear some, some crazy booty goon looking shit. See if they get me to get in a dress. You see what I'm saying? Because I already look hella fucking metro. You know what I'm saying? This how they this how they really get you. If they can get you in them clothes, y'all already seen the clothes. If they can get you in them clothes, that's first. See y'all y'all talking about these Hollywood parties. See, it's it, when you when you were Kwame was. See Kwame said, Kwame said, yeah. Once I left that party in five minutes, five minutes after four minutes after being in that party, I left. I ain't shit ain't been you know. Shit ain't been sliding since when it come to them folk over there, right? Because it's all in stages. They they been working you. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes it is just a straight up party. Sometimes, like, I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm not gonna tell this story. I'm gonna tell y'all a story. Fuck it. Fuck it. Damn, I, I I can't tell y'all this one yet. I can't tell y'all that story yet. I ain't gonna f fuck it. So I do music, right? And when I was younger, I was I used to um I, I was trying to get a deal through a company in Orlando at the time run by uh Lou Pearlman, who died in prison, um, called Transcon Transcontinental, Transcon. And I think I was like 18. And my business partner at the time, no, was I 18? 19, 20, somewhere there. My, my business partner at the time knew uh, somebody connected to Transcon, like one of the A&Rs. I think a guy named Bakari or so. I, I, I'm not too sure, but that's that was like basically my connect and my way of trying to get into the industry in a young age, right? And just meeting a few people. Transcom obviously is where Britney Spears and you know the Backstreet Boys, or excuse me, NSYNC, and um, so that that's that um, Smiles and South Star was another group, uh, a duo rap group from Orlando that I think had a a couple hits um so yeah that's my initial like coming into the music industry kind of introduction for me right so then um about six years ago i'm 37 now i had just got out of jail and uh, i had did i had did some time but i beat the case long story short and, you know, got out all charges clean. But on another note, I, said I still had to go take some classes, right? So in these classes, I end up meeting some brothers. You know what I'm saying? It was all dudes. One of the niggas I'm, I'm ace with like this to this day. So one of the dudes that I met, this is, I ain't, I ain't gonna hold y'all. He, he, he a real industry nigga. Like, he... Like, this nigga's a super producer. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real deal. I've been in the nigga house, seen the nigga setups. This nigga's a super producer. So, we talking about the industry, and this nigga, you know, he connected. 
You know what I'm saying? So we talking about the industry. And I can't really, I ain't gonna really say too much about him because I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to put him out there. You know what I'm saying? But um, long story short, he was telling me about this party uh, that Diddy had, right? And he was there. And this is what he told me happened at this party. He looked me in my face, he said, like you, boss, I don't got a lot of you. I could just not tell you this. He's like, this shit happened in front of me, dog. Right? Damn, I can't believe I'm telling y'all niggas this shit. Then he said, at the party, God rest his soul. If I already dropped Diddy name, I might as well keep the movie rolling, right? Guy rest his soul. The nigga said Andre Harrell had got sick at Diddy's party in front of everybody. Nigga got sick and threw up right on the floor, nigga. Right on the floor. And it was two twins that were there. And the nigga said, these motherfuckers is like some, some like gargoyle. Like when you watch a movie, like them old time, you know, like wizardry movies and you see like two little hunchbacks come in like, yeah, massa, what can we do, massa? Like in sync and shit, speaking in sync, like it was two weird twin motherfuckers like that at this party. I'm not going to say who I think they are. I let y'all, let y'all do that. But he said these two twins got down in the throw up and started playing in it. Like all over their body and face and just licking it and looking at it crazy. And he said that shit blew his motherfucking mind. So they just got down and that shit started playing all in this nigga's throw up. Y'all don't know what we're dealing with. He said, the crazy part was the reaction that everybody else had. He said their reaction was like, here they go again with that silly shit. They're always doing that anyway. So what you talking about, girl? Mm-hmm. These people aren't disturbed by something that would blow your fucking mind away. You guys don't even know the level of violence, the things that these people have done. Y'all don't even know the things that they, they do to get off. These people are not people. Some of them have let entities take over them. They're kind of a passenger in their own body. Have you guys not seen this already? It comes in stages, this compromise. They want you to compromise yourself. They want you to keep lowering your vibrations, constantly f f f flowing at a low vibration, at a constant, never stopping, low vibration. And they have low vibratory, they have low vibratory actions they don't function high frequency those are not the chat those are not the channels that these demons can come through these people tell you vote or die that's they'll tell you whatever they have to I told you in my last video 
what y'all are not getting is why these people are doing this. Why are they doing this? They are doing this for one reason. What are they doing? Well, how can they just ignore Kwame's truths? How can they go from jokes to threatening his life? How? How can they ignore righteousness? And, and, and you see all of them pretend in righteousness. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. You see them. Why are they doing it? Go watch my last video. I said, because they know the time, the hour when this shit is about to go up, y'all. And as our grandparents and parents told us, it was going to be in our time and it's getting close. It's here. It's already happening. It's now. It's not. A, this is what y'all to understand. And, and wrap your mind around this. It's never been a date to kaboom it. It is all going to be over. No, it's a gradual strategic process of smashing you the fuck down. Why are they doing this? Why won't our black people with money, celebrities, why won't anybody speak up for us? Who's coming to save us? Hmm? Because they think when this shit go up, they're going to be in the lap of the master licking scraps. That's what they do now. They already give them the scraps. They think that when this is over, they will be in the lap of the master eating scraps. That's what they've promised them. That when this is all said and done, they will be the good blacks. Y'all will be the new blacks. Y'all will be the elites. The posh. You guys could be, could be like us. When they have shown you they want to be like us the whole time. You would betray your people for imposters. You would betray your people for black people in white face. You say, why do I say that? Because that's what they want to be so bad. That's how they going to get to heaven. That, I mean, that's how they going to get out this realm. We're having a soul. That's why you see these white boys fucking these black girls putting their jeans and in, in, in trying to get out this realm. See, what y'all don't know about this shit is this is a trap. Y'all talk about the Matrix, right? No one's ever broke it down in this way. I help you. There are entities that live outside of this realm that live off of negative energy. Do you see why genocide and death and shit is perpetuated around this world? Because there are entities that they worship that live and seep like a like 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 steam coming off your fucking head being mad they just suck the steam they live off of negativity they live off of death and dying in distress dying in the most awful way is getting blown up they that's the way these entities live and they use us they project fear they project um, 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 paranoia. They project all these things into our food, into our bodies, into our psyches to feed these entities. Father time is the same as father time is the exact same as the, the nigga with the scythe who comes to take death. What is that? Death? I just call him death, right? From family guy. Father time, death, all this is the same. Kronos, all these are the same one entity. The entity of time that controls this particular 
realm. You being reincarnated is food. It is a constant food source for this realm. When you become born and they project their psyche and this thing, and now you are human and you have this fear and you, now you can be back into the food chain. We are food. This is why they preach reincarnation. This is why, because you are food. This is the matrix. The matrix is controlled by Father Time. The Adalabrof, Kronos, Death, Father Time, all the same one entity. And the other evil deities, spirits, beings, whatever they are that are in a negative frequency realms who can who can push in and out of this one as they you know can as strong as they try to feed on us we already have actual physical entities here on this planet that eat us just as a snack I watch food shows and they had cut the head off this chicken as a rooster had the crown on it. They set up the, they set up the, uh, they set up the chicken real nice and neat and all that. And, um, I thought about how them other entities eat us. They done battered and fried my ass. Don't be caught in not trying to get out of the matrix. Your job on this planet, your job is to figure out how to die. Say, what do you mean? Well, you have to do it anyway, right? The more you learn and know now, the more you'll know when you're feeding your soul. You're feeding your soul the knowledge. Teach yourself now so that when you die, it's easy to get the fuck up out of here. It's the trick. That's the trick. You teach yourself now so that when you die, you're smart. Okay. So when your cousin Ray Ray died and he got shot by uh, something in the hood, do you like... Pray to Ray Ray for money and shit. Do you be like, damn Ray Ray, you know, have my back, man. I know, I know, I know Ray Ray always got my back. Never. You'd be like, R.I.P. Ray Ray, but you never think about him in that light. But let your grandmother die. It's almost like you'll call on her like Jesus. Let your mom die. You'll say, I know my mama God. I know, I know my mama's spirit looking over me. Nigga ain't never said that about Ray Ray. Why do I say that? Because nobody, nobody is going to die dumb and then become smart when they die. You knew your mother had wisdom. You knew your grandmother had wisdom. And you need that wisdom. And they are not here anymore. And you hope that wisdom is protecting you. You never actually shoot them up, bang, bang, violent cousin spirit to protect you. So. I would use that to to my point of. If you die dumb. And if you die smart. Not book smart. You need to be educated about the one thing you have to do, which is die and, 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 and figure out if you have the ability to figure out if you want another avatar. Hmm. So this is, this is a, it's a very sensitive, delicate, fucking awesome, creatively avatar. Definitely not who the hell I am.
I know I, I know I like the face and I, I, I think on the shit, you know, thank thank the universe I got put in it is, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but um pick another avatar. You know, what kind, what species, bird, another planet, some other shit. But if you're dumb, how can you do that? How can you do that? The go along, get along gang wants to take that away from you. They want you to die dumb. They want you to die with a big Birkin bag. Huh? Word five, six, eight, eight. That's what they want. They want you to die dumb. They want to kill you. They want you to die in fear. It feeds their masters, their entities. You gotta keep feeding them? You bitter bitches. Huh? Yeah, I said it. You walk around always fucking mad and bitter and having a fucking reason to be cantankerous. You fucking men. Always looking for the, the tough route. Mm, you size the nigga up every minute. Bro, that was a baby. Calm down. That's how tough y'all niggas is. Always ready for some shit. I ain't never ready what we supposed to be ready for. You ready to whoop my brown skin, ain't you? Ready to hurt my brown skin. Do something to my avatar, huh? Huh, brother? Huh, brother? I don't bode well with sarcasm, so I'm going to pause this video now. Because I don't want to come off in any type of way. It's just I'm tired of it. Better know your motherfucking job. You better know what you're supposed to do. Once we up. Once we up.